Welcome to Tips with Andrew. I am Andrew Sapiano. Thank you so much for joining me on this happy Wednesday. We are Wednesday, right? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I hope you guys are having an awesome week so far and I hope you guys are rocking out whatever goals, hopes, plans, dreams, ambitions you have and are currently rocking it out. We are officially the first day of September. I hope you guys are having an awesome start to your new month. Uh, as we currently are. Uh, quickly before we get started here, I got a couple updates that I want to go over. Um, <clears throat> I have launched a weight loss course for beginners. It is an online digital course for download. Discover five little known secrets on how to lose weight. It's online digital download so you can go at it at your own pace. Uh, there's tons of cool stuff that comes along with the initial launch and I'm super excited to get it out there into the universe for the masses to consume. So if you or somebody you know of is interested in losing weight, now that the, now that officially it's back to school time, uh, definitely reach out to me, drop me a comment, send me a message, and we'll get you rocking and rolling. Next, next week is convention. Yes, oh man, I'm so excited. I can't wait. It is officially a week away. It is super exciting. Convention is doTERRA's yearly event. Um, there is everything that goes along in the year coming to fruition. Learn about the best ways to use essential oils, emerging research, new product re uh, releases, exclusive product launches that aren't normally for resale just at convention time. Ah, that, I, love, I love the exclusivity of uh, you know, other people not getting their hands on the same sort of things that I've got. Um, catch the vision for doTERRA, the world of essential oils, be the first to know about new big announcements. Um, definitely, <laughs> if, if you or somebody you know of is interested in learning more about essential oils or how to reduce the toxic load in your lifestyle, how to um, boost your immune system, how to live a more natural, holistic, alternative lifestyle, this is definitely not an event you want to miss. I'm super excited about it. Um, it's going to be held in person in Utah. There's also going to be a live stream event for it. That's the one that I'm super excited about. So definitely reach out to me, drop me a comment, send me a message, and we'll get you rocking and rolling. Lastly, the product of the month this month is Thinker Blend. Thinker Blend is the focus blend from doTERRA, perfect for this time of year uh, where the uh, when we're back to school and uh, there's a whole bunch of different things going on. There's a lot happening in life at this current moment. So this is definitely a point in time where we need to promote focus, concentration, really know exactly what we're, what we're looking for, what we're focusing on, and really follow through with it. So definitely, if you're like me and you love getting your hands on free stuff, definitely reach out to me and we will get you uh, started on that. Okay, that's, that's all the updates I got for you, I promise. There's so much more going on over here, but I can just talk your ear off. What a great time to be alive. That's what I say all the time. I love it. What a fantastic time to be alive. We're in September. Holy, 2021 is just flowing by here. What I wanted to talk a little bit today about was the fact that it's Wednesday, Wednesday hump day. This is the type, this is the day of the week, right? Where we're getting a little bit low on motivation. We are, you know, not really excited for the next couple days ahead. The weekend seems like a million years away and that would let it like we're not going to be able to get there anytime soon. And that's where I wanted to come on, give some tips that help me uh, sort of deal with motivation, that midweek slump, if you will, uh, and get motivation back to finish the week strong, right? We want to finish the week strong because we want to use the weekend as like a resting and relaxing time. We don't want to have to use the weekend, uh, you know, to catch up on things that we didn't, that we neglected throughout the week because the weekend is a rest time, right? And there's, there's a few things that have to get done, right? And that's why we need to get get our move on, right? Get our get some motivation back. It's easy to get uh, lost and sidetracked. And that's where I wanted to come on, give some tips that help me. Hopefully they help you too. Hopefully you can implement one or two and then give you some a little bit more motivation in your own life. And, uh, you know, maybe come back, tell me how great it was. So let's get right into it. Tip number one on how to deal with the midweek slump and get motivation back to finish the week strong is to have goals that you're working towards. You have, to, you have to have something that you're working towards in order to help yourself get over that midweek slump, right? When we're not working towards anything, it can be very easy to, um, 
you know, to, to, to lose track of what's, what's good or what's happening in life, what's useful in life, right? We do. We, uh, we are at the very base of it. We're creatures of habit, right? So we like to do things at the same or you know, basically at the same time every single day because we, we like to get into a habit of things. We like to do things in a routine. And that way we don't actually have to consciously think about things. We just do things over and over. And we kind of just react to things because I, I actually read something that, um, you know, I, I don't actually remember the amount of zeros, but <laughs> there's like so many zeros at the end of how many applications our brain is actually doing on a daily basis. And I believe it would take you like a, 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 a few at least lifetimes to count that high. So that's where we really need to we, we really need to understand that there's so much going on in our brain at any moment in time, and for us to consciously be aware of that, it just wouldn't happen, right? We wouldn't we wouldn't actually be able to fathom all the things that are happening in our brain at any moment in time. So that's why we sort of default to our regular settings, right? We have things that we do, right? We sleep at a certain time, we go to work at a certain time, we eat at a certain time, we do extracurricular activities at a certain time, and that's where the monotony can get in, right? That's where, you know, our motivation can really it can really falter. That's why we need to have goals, right? It could be just something as simple as, you know, I want to make sure that I get enough sleep you know, this, <laughs> this weekend, right? Or the, the rest of this week in order to have the time and, or the effort and the energy to uh, get stuff accomplished on the weekend, right? Maybe your goal is to uh, add a couple more vegetables into your uh, daily routine so that you have a little bit more energy um, throughout the day, right? And you're not really focused on your coffee intake and all that. So definitely, what you you know in order to to get a little bit of more motivation you have to have goals you have to have something to work for you have to have something to interest you in order to to really want to keep going right there's a, at a certain point in time you have to want to keep going and that's where i uh, that, that's that's where you need to have goals you have to have something to push you you have to have something to get you through when inevitably that mid you know we'll call it that midweek slump kicks in that you know loss of motivation and you can't really understand the point of keeping going number 2 way to get your motivation back is to take a few breaks take breaks here and there we are not robots we are not designed to go all day every day we cannot you know we we actually cannot go all day every day i don't know maybe i'm the anomaly in that equation but i don't think that i would be able to work or even <laughs> survive for 24, you know, 48, 72 hours straight without any sleep, right? So, <laughs> I mean, that's maybe, that's like I said, maybe I'm an anomaly and I'm completely different than everybody else in the world. But for me, I need sleep, right? <laughs> and, and I need to take a little bit of a break every now and then. I also am the type of person that, this one actually really stuck with me because I am the type of person that, if I'm not constantly go, go, going, I do feel like I'm, you know, missing out on something or I'm, you know, taking the easy way out or I'm letting myself down or, you know, there's just a, a, a laundry list of things that I could pile on to why I feel like I need to keep going and I shouldn't be taking breaks. I shouldn't, you know, I don't quote unquote deserve breaks, right? If that's, if, if you will in that way. So that was something that I really had to learn. I, I really had to learn that you... It, it, when you take breaks, right, you just go through a different perspective. You just have a different, you come back with a different mindset, a different perspective on, you know, whatever the task at hand may be. And it just leaves you with, you know, a little bit more effort and energy ready to put into it as opposed to just, you know, grinding away and not ever taking a break and not ever, you know, stopping to, you know, smell the proverbial roses, if we will. Um, that's why we need to, right? Think about at work. At, at my work, we go five minutes every hour. So about every two hours, we get a 10 minute break. And that's like by law, right? The, the, the lawmakers have decided that we as people need five minutes every hour in order to take a break. So that's where we get our uh, different um, you know, patterns from, I guess we will. But that's it, right? The research 
<laughs> the research shows that we are not at our best when we are just grinding ourselves into the ground. We are at our best when we take breaks every once in a while and schedule it into your calendar, right? Schedule it in that you're going to take, you know, a five minute break just to clear your mind, just to, just to, you know, relax your thoughts for a little bit and come back with a different perspective and a different, you know, focus for what you should be doing. Number three, get accountability. Get, get accountability. Everything's better with a buddy, right? <laughs> I mean, let's get real here. Nothing, nobody really likes doing anything alone. There's very few things in life that are enjoyable to do by yourself, but everything's better with a buddy, right? Going to the bar, going to a sporting event, uh, chatting on the phone, uh, playing a video game, you know, uh, <laughs> working on a project, um, deciding your life finances, right? Everything's better with a buddy. Everything's better to bounce when you bounce ideas off somebody, when you have somebody to bounce ideas off of. And when you're not just kind of sitting there, um, you know, <laughs> rolling the hamster wheel, we'll call it, where you're uh, just kind of going in circles but not really going anywhere. And also you need accountability because there is, there will inevitably come time where you lose motivation, where you don't feel like doing things anymore, where you feel like, you know, there's stuff in your life that you would much rather be doing other than um, you know, doing what you're supposed to be doing. So that's where it happens, right? It, it inevitably will happen. That's why you need a buddy. That's why you need an accountability partner. Maybe it's somebody that you're friends with. Maybe it's somebody that you find on Facebook, right? You got a Facebook group, perhaps a meetup, uh, event group, right? People like that. Um, so that's it, right? You need to, you need accountability because you are inevitably not going to be willing to do everything always, right? We're not robots. We're not programmed to go, go, go all the time. And we do have emotions. That's one of the human beings, you know, <laughs> worst attributes, I guess, if you will, uh, is that we are emotional creatures, right? We do think with emotion, we justify with emotion, right? So if there's enough emotion behind our justification, we are going to go with that gut feeling, right? So that's why we need to get accountability because when our emotion, let's say, gets the best of us and we've decided that, you know, it's our day off, we'll call it, that's when your accountability partner comes in, kicks you out of bed and lets you know, hey dude, like this is, you're not over yet. We, we still got work to do. We still got grinding to do and there will be time to take a break, but now is not one of those. Number four, review your progress. This one goes right along with number one where you have goals. You have to review your progress. Reviewing your progress is huge and this is something that I really had to learn. And I, I love talking about this because I had to learn it so much, right? When you think that you are not going fast enough or you know things aren't happening fast enough or your life's just that miserable or you know there's no way that you could possibly be any different, that's where reviewing your progress lets you know how much you how far you've actually come, right? You know where you started because you have it written down. And when you see your progress and you when you, you when you look at it, how far you've actually come, that's where you get the motivation to keep going. Because you will think that you're not going fast enough. I, I can attest to this 100 percent You will think that you're not going fast enough. Right, you're you're getting left behind. There is, you know, new things all the time that you're supposed to get into that you're not because you know you're so far behind, and it will happen. And it, you know, it, it kind of has to happen because success is different for everyone, right? And success happens differently at different points of time than other people. So that's where success to you means something different than it does to somebody else and it will happen at a different point in time than it will for somebody else. It's not that you're doing it wrong, it's not that you're bad, it's not that you're, you know, you're you're not good at all. It's not that you're not an amazing person like we all know you are. It's just that things happen at a different time than everyone. You're not going to get if you try and compare yourself with other people, it's just going to lead you down a wrong pathway that you're not looking to get on. Because that's a pathway that you don't want to be on. You don't want to be on one where you're just constantly comparing yourself with other people. You're thinking that you have to be better than other people. The only person you have to be better than is yourself than you were yesterday. So as long as you're better today than you were yesterday, that's a win. 
Take the win and run with it. Know when you've won and keep and celebrate it, right? Celebrate the fact that you are now a completely different person. Or if you are not a completely different person, you are, you are on your way to becoming a completely different person and you can see it. You see the transformation right on paper. That's why you need to write down your goals, write down your progress and review it. That way you get more motivation because you see how far you've come. You don't, you're not, you're not at that point, you're not visualizing the end goal. You're just seeing where you've come from the beginning and that will give you motivation to keep going. If it doesn't, definitely, if reviewing your progress doesn't give you any motivation at all and you actually feel less motivated to keep going on your goals than you did before you reviewed your progress, Definitely come back here and tell me how that tip meant nothing to you, and I would love to hear the story behind that. Number five, be your own hero, right? It's not that nobody cares about you. It's not that nobody cares about you doing well. It's not that you know nobody really wants to see you do well. It's just that people are busy themselves, right? Think about your life. You're so busy. There's so much going on in your life. You have absolutely zero time to do the things that you want to do as is. So now think about other people, right? When that you know person didn't say thank you when you held the door for them, or when you got that stink eye from that coworker that you were just trying to make a joke with, or when you know your your significant other didn't see the bright side of things and you actually kind of made things worse. It happens, right? But. That's what it is. It's not that people don't care about you. It's that people have so much going on in their own lives that they are just trying to tread above water. Most people that you know of are, you know, the proverbial ducks on the pond, right? Above water, everything looks like it's going fine and dandy. But above, above that or below that water level, those feet are moving a million miles a minute and they're just trying to do whatever they can to stay afloat. But it doesn't look like that from us. So that's, that's where you have to just, at, this, at a certain point, you have to take responsibility for your own life, right? There's no, I mean, you know, would things be different if the government was different? Probably not, right? Would things be different if it was winter time right now instead of summertime? Probably not, I don't know. Would things be different if it was nighttime instead of daytime? Probably not, I don't know. Maybe it would, maybe it wouldn't, but that's what I'm talking, right? At a certain point, you have to take responsibility for your own life. You have to do what needs to be done to get your own life on track. And you have to be willing to sacrifice a little bit of your, you know, your personal time, your social being, wellness, right? In order to promote that healthy life that you want. And those, you know, that awesomeness that you know you need to step into because it's your life and nobody's going to come and make sure, knock on your door, make sure that you did those things that you're supposed to do every day to promote happy wellness and to live that best life. My last tip more than anything is essential oils. And I'm going to use the blend that's the free product of the month this month, which is the Thinker Blend. And the Thinker Blend is the focus blend from doTERRA. And I mean, that's it, right? When we're trying to get motivation back, when we're trying to get over that midweek slump, when we're trying to get back at it, we need to be focused and concentrated or else we're just going to kind of be going in the wind. My next blend here is Cheer. And Cheer is actually, uh, I don't know, it's a, it's a happiness blend from doTERRA. And that's what it is. It promotes happiness, right? That's what I love about uh, doTERRA is you can pretty much figure out what the blends are good for based off their name and Cheer, right? It's citrus oils that promote that happy thoughts in our lives, right? When we're dealing with, you know, that midweek slump and we need to get a little bit more motivation, being happy is a great way to start. And I don't know, but I can probably guess that if you're very upset, you're probably not having very much motivation to keep on keeping on. And my last plan here more than anything is motivate. <laughs> I mean, when you want to talk getting motivation back, that's the encouraging blend right there to encourage you to keep going, to keep on keeping on, even in the face of adversity when nobody else thinks you can do it and you know you can do it. I know you can do it. You're awesome. And sometimes you just need a little pick me up. That's all I got for you for today. I really hope you enjoyed this. I know I had some fun making it. Feel free to share this with your friends, a family member, perhaps somebody from your team that you feel needs to hear this. If you'd like to learn more about essential oils or how to get your hands on some of this cool stuff that I'm talking about, or if you'd like a free sample of oils just to get your hands on a little taste tester before you get it and make a full-on commitment, definitely reach out to me, drop me a comment, send me a message saying me, and we'll get you rocking and rolling. 
Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and an even better week. And I look very forward to talking to you again. I love you guys. Bye for now.